What's up, you guys? We have a very strange integral here that does not look elementary. However, it surprisingly is elementary. So, how do we solve this? Here, it's, well, if you notice, both terms here, this and this, they both look completely non-elementary terms, right? So whenever I see something like that, I like to do what's called a semi-integration by parts, okay? Uh, let's go ahead, let's do this portion here, right? If I do, let's actually, I want to do 4x cubed, I'm going to derive this, and then I'm going to, or actually, better yet, let me go ahead, just for the sake of simplicity, let's derive 2x cubed, and then integrate 2x sine x squared, right? Now, this is negative 6x, right? Remember when we do integration by parts, the sine alternates. Here, you get negative cosine x squared. Okay, cool. And then, what about here? This case, I will derive sine x squared, and then integrate 3, and then this way we get negative 2x, uh, not, that's not sine, should be cosine x squared, and this is just 3x. Ah, so now, what do you notice between these two? Right? So what we have here is we have, let's start with this one because this is just positive. We have 3x sine x squared, and then we have minus 2x cubed cosine of x squared from 0 to pi, uh, screw root of pi. And then here we have positive. We have positive of 6x cosine square x squared. But then here we have minus 6x cosine x squared. So the leftovers that we had, they just cancel each other out, right? Or you can definitely solve it because it's integrable, right, with u substitution. But this just gets the job done a lot easier. Right, we like to solve this quickly, efficiently, precisely. So now that we have, this is pretty much our answer here. We just plug in zero and plug in square root of pi. Plugging in zero, we know this, everything's going to be zero. So we just have to focus on square root of pi here. So this gives us three square root of pi of sine pi. I believe that is zero. And then we have negative two. Uh, root pi of cube, that's pi root pi, and then cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so our answer is just 2 pi root pi. And that's it. Very simple. Okay? So, yes, if things do look non elementary, try semi integration by parts, especially doing it in two different terms. Okay? Half of this with different integration by parts, half of this, right? For each term, do integration by parts separately and see if the leftovers will cancel each other out, okay? It helps a lot. It is a time saver, uh, and it's a lot simpler to work with. All right, I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.